story there. So important to hear those stories and continue as you know, unfortunately, we're losing more and more from the greatest generation. You heard the ages 96, 98, 100 years old and only seven in that whole area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, turning now to the man who told us about this roller coaster and this week of temperatures, Kevin, and we are on the downswing of it. Yeah, well, right now we're on the downswing, but we're going up tomorrow and then we'll go back down. <laughs> I'm nauseous. <laughs> it, it, it seems like it, right? It's like Mother Nature has one foot in the door for winter and then we're back into fall and it's just a seesaw ride of temperatures all the way around and that's going to continue right into our weekend as we go from freezing cold that's where we are right now to 50s tomorrow back to freezing cold. I just kind of ran out of room here on the graphic to put back to freezing cold again. And in that transition, we'll have the chance for a few showers in here, mostly late tomorrow night into early Saturday morning, but there's not a lot of wet weather to be expected around the area. So let's start this forecast journey here. First things first, talk about what's in charge right now. High pressure, the weather good guy. The reason why we had all the sunshine today, also responsible for the cold air we have in place. However, high pressure is now beginning its journey to the east, and that means as our winds turn southerly, we're going to see our temperatures make a big jump tomorrow. That's why we're headed into the 50s. But then we have to watch this storm center that's out here in the Dakotas. This will swing through with a cold front and bring us our showers Friday night and a Saturday morning. If you look closely, you can already see some of that moisture beginning to creep its way back up out of the deep south that will team up with that front to bring just a little bit of rain in here tomorrow night. Temperature wise, it's been a cold one now already starting to fall back below freezing in many locales underneath mostly clear skies tonight. It should be pretty cold and frosty. I think a lot of us will probably need that ice scraper in the morning to scoop some of that frost off out there. It's 36 officially here in Cincinnati, but again, you can see those winds have already gone around to the south there. So that is a positive sign for getting that big jump temperature wise tomorrow. Not going to really help us out too much tonight, though. So again, we'll be below freezing within the hour in many areas, and it will be a drop down into the mid 20s tonight, probably mid 20s in the city. I can't rule out in the burbs. You're a couple of degrees colder, maybe low to mid 20s in some of those areas, but we'll see some high clouds scooting through. Here's future cast skies will be mostly clear overnight tonight. That's why I think we've got a good chance for a decent frost in a lot of areas. But then tomorrow starts nice, mostly sunny out there. We'll start with sunshine and the clouds will gradually lower throughout the day, so we'll start to lose the sun. But as you can see here, it's generally dry throughout the daytime hours. Now, could there be a stray sprinkle into tomorrow evening? For sure, but I think if you've got dinner plans, you're running errands, I think it's all dry tomorrow evening. It will be later Friday night, closer to midnight, when those rain chances really begin to grow across the area as that front sweeps through and will keep the chance for some showers around probably through about 9 or 10 Saturday morning, but then we're back into some sunshine by Saturday afternoon, but temperatures again going down. So it will be chilly Saturday and that cold air sticks around Saturday night right on into a busy Bengals game on Sunday with the Chiefs coming in town. You'll need to dress warm if you're tailgating. In fact, here's how you can compare Sunday. Think of today. Basically, Sunday will be a lot like today was for us, you know, partly cloudy, but still kind of chilly for this time of the year. So frosty tonight and cold 26 for a low 53 tomorrow as it turns cloudy and it will become windy too, but milder big jump in temperatures expected tomorrow and all in all your Friday looks nice with that rain chance really not being impactful until late, probably after 10 or 11 tomorrow night. So there's a look at your seven day forecast temperatures drop Saturday again. 53 is at midnight tomorrow night. It will be in the 40s around 40 during the day Saturday upper 30s on Sunday and then Ashley, are you sick of the seesaw ride? We're still roller we're on this roller coaster going right into next week as we jump right back up into the 50s again. Kevin, thanks a lot. Keeping kids with attention deficit disorder.